Hi everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV located in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Larry Vickers. First, I would like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. I hope everybody has a safe, enjoyable day. Now, the, in my last video, we talked about the, the history of the Hemi engine. Well, today I'm gonna to bring you a Ford F-350. So I thought we'd talk a little bit about the history of the Ford diesel product. They've sure had their ups and downs, haven't they? We've all know that. You know, they kind of got themselves a bad reputation there for a little while. But it started clear back in 1983 when Ford started their first diesel engine. It was a 6.9. In 1988 was when the first 7.3 liter was put on the market. Now, this did not have a turbo with it. In 93, they added the turbo engine to the 7.3. Now in 1994 and a half is when the first power stroke was put on the market. It was, had direct injection, 210 horsepower. Now as time went on, they went on ahead and upgraded that to 1998 to 2003. It went up to 234, 235 horsepower. In 2003 and a half to 2007 is when they came out with the 6.0. Now, this was the first engine that Ford themselves didn't make. International Harvester is the one that actually made that. It had 325 horses, but as a lot of us know, it definitely had reliability issues. So, in 2008 is when they released the next one, which was a 6.4, which made it to 2010. That was actually worse than the 6.0. It wasn't good. 350 horsepower, again, reliability issues, constantly in the shop, things like that. So in 2010, this is what Ford did. This, they brought everything home. They had their own engineers design the next engine because outsourcing it simply wasn't working. So they had their own engineers, their own mechanics, all those boys put together the next engine. That's how they came up with a 6.7 power stroke in 2011. Well, it's 2020 and except for a few minor glitches, that engine is still running strong. So yes, they've had their issues, but they've clearly corrected it simply by bringing everything home and doing that themselves. So it was a smart move by Ford. I'm glad that they did it. Um, still to this day, the F-150, the half ton Ford, has been the number one selling pickup truck in America for the last 18 years. Well, there's gotta be a reason for that. You know, Ford does have a good product. The 6.7 turbo diesel reflects that. So with that being said, I would like to introduce you to a 2017 F-350. This is the Platinum Edition. <coughs> it may shock you by looking at it, but this truck actually has a touch over 100,000 miles on it. <laughs> it runs with a wheelbase of 176, a GVWR of 11,500 pounds, a rear axle ratio of 4.10. <laughs> this is stock number 5U200857. Now let's take a look underneath the hood. And that is the Power Stroke 6.7. One thing about the design, it's still easy to maneuver around. Just like most diesels, it comes with the two batteries. One here, one over here. There's where we check the oil. Transmission fluid here. And antifreeze level here. It's a very smart design by Ford an engine that's doing an excellent job. As we start to walk around the truck, it does have tow hooks in the front. Right there. We went on ahead and put brand new tires on it. These are Coopers. 275. 70 R18s. Here's the Platinum logo. A 
and again the 6.7 power stroke. The color is pearl white. Some things we can see from the outside of the truck. Here is where we can adjust pedals. Here this will drop our tailgate for us. Electric seats. As you'll notice the color of the interior is very unique. It's a dark brown which really dresses the truck up. It comes with both heated and cooled seats. It does have electric running boards, so when you shut it and give it a couple of seconds, those do go back in. Again, right back out. One thing to notice about the truck is how much room is in that back seat. The platinum design is very comfortable. I'll make those long toes seem easy. This truck does come with a tonneau cover right here. We did hook it up to a horse trailer so you can see what the truck was really designed to do. Right here is the fuel tank and right next to it is the depth tank. As we continue to walk around, like I said, it's over 100,000 miles but there's no way you could tell it. There isn't a scratch on this truck. The tailgate, it's not gonna slam your fingers when it comes down. The hookup to the light is right here. Now I realize we don't have the safety chains hooked up. The trailer is hooked up strictly for demonstration purposes with the video. As we walk through, you'll see it does have a hitch for a traditional bumper pull trailer. That pearl white color really makes this truck pop. It's really a sharp color. It's not one that's gonna stand out in traffic, you know, just a really nice, clean look that the truck has. As we take a look at the back seat, you can see, simply pop that up and there's more storage underneath here. That seat just pops up there as well. So we can actually have more storage right there or leave it down and have all of this room right here. Now, right up here is where we, is the button for heated seats in the back as well. Now let's take a look at the inside. An extremely comfortable seat that Ford has to offer to start the truck is a push button. So simply press there. If we can look over here, this button here, this comes with mirror extenders. So that button there presses those out where we're towing a trailer. That sure makes life easy to have those out a little bit further. On the side over here, that's obviously our windows. One thing I did want to mention, this truck comes with airbags and right there is the remote. So that'll let you uh, fill up the airbags or let air out whatever you choose to do right there. This switch here is for the back window. Now it has several auxiliary ports here. So if you wanted to hook up additional cameras, radar detection, things like that, all of that can be done right here. As we work our way down, this is for our exhaust brake here. Traction control. Um, this is hill descent. I mean, we're right next door to the Rocky Mountains, which look awesome today, by the way. So if we're coming down a, the, a mountain and need a little uh, assistance, simply press that there. This button that looks like a camera is because that's exactly what it does. There's a camera in front 
and then back as well. So by pressing that, it will switch those cameras to put it exactly where you want it to be. The climate control button is here, heated steering wheel. So you can have that on as basically it's hot or cool as, as you feel the need be. Uh, defrost, this is basic, just your basic climate control. <laughs> run the fan as high or as slow as you run. You can either do that here or down there as well. Now, in terms of the phone, we can sure add that phone. You purchase the truck, we'll have all that set up and ready for you. When you pull off the lot, we'll not only have the Bluetooth hooked up, but we'll uh, put at least six of your favorite radio stations all in there for you because after the sale is just as important as the sale itself. So our goal is to take care of you both before, during, and after the sale. So that's just part of the service we provide. Navigation is right there. You can put type in your destination and away you go. It'll give you instructions on how to get there. So that's uh, just the basic apps. It helps you find more mobile apps by pushing the apps button and the settings kind of brings all of them up at once so you can adjust uh, anything that needs adjusted there. Over here is the four-wheel drive switch. So obviously right now it's just on two, high or low, and there is a pull option that you can use as well. Right down here is our trailer brake. As we continue on over to more climate control, like I said, you can adjust that up here or down there, whatever easier for you. Um, seats and steering wheel all down here it comes with a couple of usb ports right there one thing kind of cool about this truck is the amount of inside storage it has so i can reach clear down there so you can really have that uh, full if the case may be that you need additional storage there so kind of a unique truck that we have on the lot today extremely nice extremely well taken care of i'm very proud to bring it to you so if you have any questions about it or anything else on the lot please feel free to call me the cell phone number is 970-370-4067 the work extension 303-684-3404 feel free to email me larry.vickers at transwest.com thanks for tuning in today